market since yesterday. The first of which is a townhome located in Bridalwood 8405 Tack House Loop. Um, I've sold two or three houses on this street in the last year. Um, three levels, 2,232 square feet. Um, we had reviewed a couple the other day that were in the same subdivision that were right at the same price point, I believe, 315 and 320. Um, so, you know, this one's falling right in line with those. Brick and siding front here. We got a bay window as well. Hardwood floors when you come in on the main level. Kitchen granite countertops, oak cabinets, and it looks like some mix and match appliances, which is easy to swap out. Master bedroom and bathroom. There's the basement area. It looks like new carpet in there as well. Fenced in backyard, which is nice. And there's the common area. I think that, you know, this price point is pretty much right in line with everything else. Um, that 300 to 315 um, price range um, it seems to be very popular for everybody that's putting a house on the market lately in that in that subdivision. 15430 Painters Cove Way. This is in Dominion Valley Country Club. It's a townhome. Four bedrooms, three baths. Uh, built in 2012, so it's like brand new. 440000 There's no pictures yet. Um, so it's hard to judge on value, but it does say it's been professionally painted, custom blinds, granite countertops. Uh, so maybe we'll follow up once we see some pictures on that one. 5859 Tullock Spring Courts is also New England Valley Country Club. 564 900, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 0.217 of an acre, so just a little less than a quarter acre there. 3,200 square feet with a partially finished basement. Built in 2004, two car garage. This is the Mount Vernon floor plan. Um, Brick front, as you can see, with a two-car garage. Hardwoods in the entryway. Nice tray ceiling in the living room area. Nice crown moldings and chair, chair rail moldings. Here's the kitchen. Oops. Back. Cherry cabinetry. We got stainless steel appliances, granite countertops. Um, so the kitchen, I think, definitely looks nice here. Uh, custom island there. Family room off the kitchen. Office area, huge master bedroom. This looks like the sitting room off of uh, the master bedroom as well. Master bath. Doesn't say how many square feet is finished in the basement. Here you can see it looks like. Uh, the floors have been, in, or the walls have been put in place, but the floor is not yet. And a brick patio out back. <coughs> and here's the paver patio. Again, 564, 900 um, for this type of square footage. It's pretty much close to where everything else has been selling in that in the square footage range. I think it shows well. If they would have finished off just the flooring in the basement, it probably would have changed. Not, I mean, not changed much, but um, pretty inexpensive thing to do there. 564, 900 definitely one to keep your eye on. 14805 Rising Sun Lanes is um, located in Haymarket. It's a townhome, three levels for 232900 It's a little bit older because it was built in 1989. There's no pictures to look off. It's, it's walking distance to downtown Haymarket, which is really nice for those looking to be close to that area. Um, I will say that anything beneath 250000 is worth looking at because there's not much out there in Gainesville Haymarket at all uh, beneath 250000 So you could go in and, and make it your own, probably put, even if it needed some work, 10000 15000 into it, and you're going to um, still be underneath the 250000 So I think that one will probably go quick. 6025 Abernethy Lane, Piedmont South, 434000 three bedrooms, three and a half baths. It says the lot acreage is 9.41, which has to be in air because, as you can see, it's right up against another house, and I doubt that it's almost 10 acres deep. Um, so that's a little uh, comedy for today is a home that you can see both houses beside it on 9.4 acres. Um, probably it's going to be 0.094 or something like that because these lots typically are pretty small over there in Pied Piedmont. Uh, brick front, we do have a two-car garage that's on the back side of this house. And the pictures, you can't, I, I mean, look at these pictures, guys. Who would probably want to buy this house? I, 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 I seriously doubt that anybody's going to actually want to go to this house because you can't see anything other than the exterior pictures here. Uh, I mean, I just judging on pictures, 434000 is not going to cut it. 
Um, they're gonna have a hard time just pe getting people over there. Um, just a couple errors. Pictures are terrible, and lot acreage is 9.4, um, which we know not to be true. Um, outside of that, it, it looks like 1,984 square feet with a fully finished basement. So you're probably somewhere around 27, 2,800 square feet finished. Um, decent option if you want Piedmont, but I think the house, as far as what it looks like, it shows in the pictures. It does I mean? I'm imagining in person it's going to show so much better, so you might want to look at this one in person, but um, pictures definitely aren't sending us there. Uh, that's all we got for today. Give us a call if you'd like to sketch a showing, 703-596-0011, or as always, contact us through the website, GainesvilleHomesDaily.com. Enjoy your day, guys. We'll be back with you tomorrow.